So the last thing I wanna cover is suicidal ideation. And as you've probably gotten the, the message here, uh, suicidal ideation is, is actually also very complex. Um, so I like this system here that kind of walks through the different levels of suicide attempt, uh, ideation. Uh, so it's a, uh, this idea of ideation, it's a fancy word for thoughts. Um, it, it includes a range of thoughts about suicide of uh, varying intensity and varying level of risk. Uh, so at the, the lowest level of risk is passive suicidal ideation. This is where a person wishes for death or wishes to uh, ne uh, go to sleep and never wake up. Uh, this is very common and, um, and is uh, less intense generally and less level of risk for actually carrying out the actions. Next, you have active suicidal ideation. This is where you have thoughts of killing oneself. So you, uh, you think about um, taking your own life. And usually at this level, it's kind of broad. Uh, it doesn't get into a specific method um, because if it did, that's the next level, suicidal ideation with method. This is where you consider the ways of killing oneself. Um, so you start to consider how would I do this if I did? Um, but the important part there is if I did. There's not yet the intention to do so or the plan to do so. So the next level is one that, that is a, a big jump up in risk. That is the suicidal ideation with method and intention. This is where the person thinks, this is how I would do it. And yeah, I do intend at some point to do this. Um, there's no specific plan for when or how it would occur, but they say, you know, I'm, yeah, I'm going to do this at some point. Uh, and that, that represents a much higher, as you can imagine, level of risk. The final one here is the suicidal ideation with plan and intention. Having a specific plan for carrying out suicide and the intent to act on that plan. That's a person who needs to be immediately hospitalized if you encounter them, you, you should be um, either escorting them to a hospital or calling 911 because that is a emergency circumstance. All right, so as you can see, uh, we can't think of suicidal ideation as an all or nothing. It's not, uh, have you had thoughts of suicide or have you not had thoughts of suicide? You can ask that, but you would, you would gain a lot more information if you ask these um, about the specific types of thought, the thoughts that they're having, because, because it matters so much uh, whether they have a plan, whether they have intent, whether they have a method, that really people should be assessing for these different components of the suicidal ideation. Uh, again, uh, all, all of this is um, what we've discovered as we find that, uh, you know, it's helpful to unpack these different elements. Okay, so I'm going to end there and uh, wrap up our videos for this training.